Hello everyone, JM Adventures here. This is just a video on how to put your line on a method feeder. So let's get into the video. I'm going to use the green side as the end. So put the swivel on. Imagine that is still on just like so. So imagine it will look like that. That's what it would probably look like. I'm taking this off for ex more explaining purposes, just to show you. You'll probably you'll still have the rubber thing still in there. Um, so what you want to do is get the swivel like so. Hold it with your thumb and index finger. That's what I found best. I probably don't need that much. Probably like that. And what I'll do is I'll literally just cross it over, clamp it with them two fingers, use my other two to pull it back round. Do that a couple of times, probably like, as I say, six, seven times, something like that. Just till it looks enough. So, fingers crossed you guys have <laughs> seen that pretty well. And then this is the awkward part. You can sort of use the swivel, if you can get it, to put the line. Do not put the line through the swivel hole. Only put it through that first hole that you made. Let me just um, reposition. So if you see that first hole there, that's perfect, just there, just where the edge of my finger is. Poke it on the underside of that, the, uh, the line. It's pretty fiddly. Hang on. You'll get it. So we're through. Oh, no, I'm not. It came back out. There we are. I think it's through. Right, you see that? It's through. It's through the first hole. Now, because you've done that, you've got a huge loop here. What you want to do, you get it, put it through the loop. Put it through the loop, like that. Grab it. Gently pull it. Spit on it to give it some lubricant. That should pull quite nice. That was a different angle, it's probably a better angle. But that is obviously how to do it. Yep. And that's what it will look like in the end. It's probably not the best as the other one, the other one was probably better, but yeah. Uh, that is just the other angle of this. And that's what it will look like. But I don't know what not that's called. If you could tell me in the comment section below, but that's the knot I always use. Um, what I'll do is I'll just snip it close to it when you want to um, obviously take it off. But it's a pretty strong knot. So guys, it's been JM Adventures. Just showing you how to tie on the knot to your method feeder swivel. And guys, leave a like, subscribe. I'm going to keep trying to bring out some more videos. Me and Mitchie doing pike fishing. So yeah, guys, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.